Hey, this is a first video in a short series where hopefully I'll give you everything you need to know about making a beaded baseball cap such as this. Uh, first thing is I did, I loaded uh, looming, bead looming paper and I printed that out and I plotted out a, a design for my hat. This is size 13 beads and there's 19 of them from one end of the design to the other end of the design. And then I'm going to be using Nymo thread or Nemo thread, however you want to say it. It's spelled N-Y-M-O. And it's just a nylon beading thread. Then I'll be using a size 12 sharp needle. And they're the little shorter beading needles. Okay, they work really well for a hat like this because uh, when you're going through it, they're not going to bend and break on you like some of the lighter beading needles. Then... You also need, of course, a pair of scissors. Another thing that's handy is a pair of pliers. They can just be needle nose pliers. These ones are actually beading pliers. Nothing really special for them, except that they don't have the, the rough teeth here, so they're not going to bend my needle in funny ways. Then the other thing I like to have, of course, is a plate or something to hold your beads. And in my case, Sometimes it's hard to get the needle through the hat, and I'll show you more about this in the other video, but I'm just using, I believe it's an upholstery needle, but you can also use a heavier sewing needle. I like the T-top on this because I can use that when I push it through the hat, and then it doesn't hurt my fingers as much. Kind of like a built-in thimble kind of deal. Okay, uh, so the first thing I want to cover in this video is how to, you're going to thread your needle, and I like to use a thread somewhere around four or five feet long. Thread the needle on one end, and then on the other, I'm going to make three quick knots here. Two, three, and I'm leaving about a one inch tail on there. Okay, and then I'm going to trim that to about, I don't know, half inch or so. And because it's nylon thread, I can melt it. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just making an end. As you can see, it does catch on fire, so be prepared to, to blow that out. Let it cool for a second, and then you can double check its strength. But this way, when I put it through the hat and bring it you know, up to the edge, it won't pull through. right? And it looks very discreet on a, on a hat and kind of hides it. Um, that's it for this first one. Check out my next videos and I'll talk, talk about the, the rest on doing uh, your own baseball beaded cap.